Question 14. The expression d squared minus d minus 6 can be written in factored form as d plus 2 times d plus k, where k represents a number. What is the value of k? All right, so I have uh, this over here, and I need to factor it. Um, and factoring means I need to do like this. Okay, so tengo este, y necesito hacer factori factorización para tener así. So let's go ahead and do that. Vamos a hacerlo. So let me go ahead and copy. So d squared minus d minus 6. The first thing is we need to do ABC. La primera cosa es que necesitamos ABC. A, B, C. A is the number with the letter squared. A es el número con la letra cuadrado. So if there's no number, si no hay número, you're going to put one. Vamos a poner uno. So here it's one. Es uno. Okay. B is the number with the letter no exponent. B es, con, es el número con la letra sin exponente. So that would be right over here. So remember, recuerda, if there's no number, si no hay número, it's one. Es uno. And this is negative one. Es negativo uno. So negative one. C is the number with no letter. C es el número sin uh, letra. So that would be negative six, negativo seis. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do A times C. La primera cosa es que vamos a hacer A por C. A times C. So that would be A, one, times por C, negative six. Okay. One time, well, let's ignore the negative right now. Vamos a ignorar el negativo por ahora. So one times six. Uno por seis, that is six. Es igual a seis. So we're going to need to find the factors for this. Necesitamos encontrar los factores por eso. So that would be one times six. Uno por seis, that's six, es seis. And two times three, dos por tres, that is six, es seis. And then three times two, I don't need to put because it's the same numbers. No necesito poner tres por dos porque son el, los mismos números. So that's where I stop. Este es donde uh, terminó. Now, look at the B. Mira la B. It's negative one, right? This is the B. So I'm going to need to figure out which of these will give me negative one when I uh, add them together. ¿Cuáles de estos puede darme negativo uno cuando lo hago sumar? And what I mean by adding, I can also be adding negative numbers, okay? So I will be using positive and negative signs. Um, en, el, en la suma, puedo usar uh, señales negativos y positivos to have this number, para tener este número. So if you're good at math, si están buenos en matemáticas, you would know, saben, that to get negative 1, que para tener negativo 1, I will need to do negative 3 and positive 2. Okay? So 2 minus 3. 2 menos 3. So let me show you that. So get your calculator. Positive 2 minus 3, that will get me negative 1. That's the only way to get negative 1 with these options. Es la única manera para tener negativo 1 con estas opciones. So that is negative 1. These are the numbers that I'm going to use. Estos son los números que voy a usar. So I will open two parentheses. Voy a abrir dos parentheses. Put the letter in the front. Pon la letra enfrente. It's D, D, D. And the first one will be positive 2. And the second one will be negative 3. You're going to put one here one here and that's your answer y esta es la respuesta but pero here they gave you the options here d plus two here d plus k okay so i need to know what is k cuál es la k what is in that in that place que esta en este lugar negative three negativo tres so my answer is actually only negative three mi respuesta es solamente negativo tres so in this type of question in este tipo de pregunta on the test in el examen you're going to have some boxes van a tener cajas cajitas así like this in the first box in la, en la primera caja you will put only positive or negative. Solo van a poner positivo o negativo. And then numbers in the rest. Y números en el resto. So my first box, I will put negative. And then three. And nothing else. Y nada más. Okay, so just this. Solo esto. Don't put zero or anything. No pon cero o nada. 
this would be how you present your answer on the test. Este es como pueden uh, presentar su respuesta en el examen. So thank you for watching. If you like the video, please give it a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.